President Donald Trump is breaking his silence about Alabama Republican Senate candidate Roy Moore. Before leaving the White House to spend Thanksgiving in Florida, the president appeared to accept Moore's denials of sexual misconduct before taking aim at his Democratic opponent. Reporter Mola Lenghi has the latest from the White House. Sure. We don't need a liberal person in there, a Democrat. President Trump blasted Alabama Senate candidate Doug Jones Tuesday, shortly before taking off for Thanksgiving at Mar-a-Lago. I've looked at his record. It's terrible in crime. It's terrible in the border. It's terrible in the military. Jones' opponent, Republican Roy Moore, stands accused of multiple sexual misconduct allegations, including with teenaged girls when he was in his 30s something more denies. I never dated underage women and I never engaged in sexual misconduct with anybody. I moved on her like a <laughs> bitch and she was married. The president, who was also accused of sexual misconduct during the presidential campaign, questioned why some of Moore's victims waited so long to come forward. Roy Moore denies it. And I do have to say, 40 years is a long time. He's run eight races and this has never come up. President Trump's decision to defend Moore puts him at odds with members of his own party who have called for the Republican to drop out of the race. Just last week, the president's daughter, Ivanka Trump, told the Associated Press, there's a special place in hell for people who prey on children. I've yet to see a valid explanation, and I have no reason to doubt the victim's accounts. I believe the women. In an effort to win over Republicans, Jones is now using Ivanka's words in a new campaign ad. He spoke out shortly before appearing solo at a town hall. I've been talking about issues consistently in this race. I've yet to see that from Roy Moore. President Trump has not ruled out going to Alabama to campaign for Moore, saying he'll make a decision next week. Alabama's special election to fill Attorney General Jeff Sessions' Senate seat is just three weeks away. David Cassidy, one of the child stars of the hit The Partridge Family, who went on to have a long, long career, has died. He was 67. His publicist says that Cassidy died surrounded by his family. He said in February that he was suffering from dementia. He told People Magazine about his diagnosis, saying he was in denial, but that a part of him always knew it was coming. Cassidy's mother had suffered from the disease. An in-state rivalry renewed on the basketball court. Highlights from the Dragons and Cobbers later in sports. And preparing for your home for old age. Things you can do now to make sure you're equipped to handle any disabilities.